We are three days away. This Wednesday, the Disney proxy fight is here. We have been referencing it for several months now, since last year when Nelson Peltz officially threw his hat into the ring to try and not get control of Disney, but have a say in what they're doing. And it's been an interesting ride. Uh, I'm, I am on the record saying I, I am not sure how this is going to play out. And even if Nelson Peltz does get a seat or two on here, there's no, there's no riding the ship. There's, there's no way it's going to be fixed. And anything he can do, best he can do is kind of shine a light on everything because he'll have access and no one can stop him then. But this has been a weird couple of weeks uh, building up to it, where a couple of weeks ago, Disney put out a promotional trailer to try and get the remaining investors who haven't chosen a side to choose their side. Bob Iger has the vision to save Disney. <laughs> And then there was the whole list of people. And we didn't talk about it at the time. Guys like George Lucas have thrown his support behind Bob Iger. Uh, I, I, I've saved my commentary for this at this point right now. People say, how could you be angry? You guys love George. He's supporting Iger. What do you say to that? Uh, actual fans of Star Wars have had years of being pissed at George. <laughs> I, I have a history of being pissed at George. Deal. Yeah, and, and uh, that's the thing these people don't understand is they latch onto people, celebrities, and whatnot, and they become their idols, their gods who dictate everything about their lives. Yeah, we're mature adults who are like I agree with a lot of this person says, have nuanced opinions on people. Yeah, so we have nuanced opinions about George Lucas and realize we're not going to agree with him all the time. Respect a lot of what he says about Star Wars, even currently, but uh, his business decisions have never been completely sound. Even back in the original no. trilogy, no. he did some. Stuff that I don't agree Blinking with. Blinking Ewoks. Blinking yeah. Ewoks. Adding the no to Vader when he grabs Palps mm -hmm. and throws him down There's the chute. I, I've told this story many times. That was at that moment in time. I said, I I am not going to buy this shit because of that until George <laughs> gets sane again. Now, little did I know that things were only going to get worse when I said that. Uh, and, and I even did Jedi mind tricks on people not to buy those, mm -hmm. those Blu-rays. And it worked a couple of times. Uh, I have been critical of George Fierce, but it doesn't change the fact that I think he's one of the most creative individuals in modern uh, mm -hmm. pop culture history. That doesn't change the fact. As many t I still love what he did, and I could still be angry at him for shit he's did. It, th th these are not uh, mutually exclusive things, if I said that right. I always worry if I say that wrong. Uh, I was going to say that, but you guys understand what I'm saying. I, I yeah, no, you're, 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 you're saying it right, Adam. No. Like, like both things can be true. Yeah. You can you can be a fan of what of what the man created, while at the same time being critical of the of the mistakes that he's made. Hundred percent. Yeah, okay. yeah. And uh, in the end, I even think this whole when he when they trotted him out to say I support Bob Iger, I think it was more George's people than George. I think it's George possible. is somewhere. In a food court, uh, you know, just eating his Chinese. <laughs> just <think it's> <laughs> if you know, you know. Or or waiting to photo bomb a random video mm -hmm. on the street. I, mean, I love that video. I love that shit. Uh, George, he's so out of things. He's he is completely removed from everything. I, I worry though if it it is um, medically caused that if he goes too far down a a not Alzheimer's but something of that level dementia. They might uh, make him into the new Stan Lee where they just possess uh, the schedule and parade him around and tell him things to say. And he doesn't know what's going on. And it's tragic. The last few years of yeah. Stan Lee's life were tragic with well, that's, how Disney well, treated I, him. I, I don't know. I, I think George has always sort of been also a recluse. He doesn't yes, do true. unless unless it's a premiere or promotion. I mean, the security kind of... on Skywalker Ranch is insane just to keep his reclusion. Yeah, George doesn't go out much. And when you get a release, it's either a weird video these days or an interview. So I I don't really put put a lot into that. It sounds more of a political move to make sure that it, by Bob Iger to get make it sound like that George Lucas supports me and all these other ones that support him. Even I've heard that Michael Eisner has thrown support, and we know Eisner hates 
Iger because Eisner has watched Iger destroy everything he saved and rebuilt with from the nineties into the early aughts. He just watched him rip it apart and piss it away. But then we and then but then you got all kinds of stuff. At the same time, Nelson Peltz has been getting backing from more financial type sectors where they get one powerful um investment company here, another powerful shareholder there, this and that. So I'm going to ask this question now. We'll go down the line. Do you guys think – What do you think Nelson Peltz gets the seat or two that he's going after? I don't trust Disney to play fair. So okay. I worry that there might be some behind-the-scenes shenanigans to stop it. If it were 100% fair fight, no shenanigans, I think Nelson Peltz would get what he's after. I, mm-hmm. I do, because as much as these people can publicly say, what Disney's doing is wonderful, incredible, and we don't disagree with them in any way, shape, or form. It's brave and stunning. Everyone has to realize that Disney is in a terrible position from how much money they've lost to the box office alone. Yeah. Then you include how their park tickets are down, the failure of the Galactic Star Cruiser. There's just so many failures that from a financial perspective, you can't deny it. So no. they yeah. might publicly say, great, diversity. Oh, we're, we're going to do what we can to fix it, though. Yeah. Dre? But- That's a really good question, Adam, because like I- I'll piggyback on Jet Sentiments. Would Disney play fair? No. Um, but at the same time, Nelson Peltz has the wherewithal and not to mention an outrageous amount of capital to actually move yeah. some mountains. Yeah. He's and, got a lot of powerful backers. Yeah. And a lot of powerful backers. So it, it can go either way. Like it, it can be a coin flip now, but just for the, just for the sake of discussion, I'm just going to say yes, by a very slim margin. I, okay. I, I'm not going to, I'm not going to say he's going to get everything he wanted or whatever the case may be. Let's just say he gets a, a seat. seat. His yeah. seat, not the seat yeah. for the for the former CFO. No, no, no. I'm, I'll say he'll get a seat because he's got fu money, and all the people that are backing him are also people that like like backing from Cisco and uh, uh I think like Wendy. Like it's, it's, yeah, there's 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 so many billions of dollars that is like legit billions that are actually backing him and. So I'll say on that note that he'll probably get his seat, but like but with Jed's sentiments as well, Disney is not going to play fair. And I think the idea of dragging poor poor George Lucas out of his seclusion to come and make this make the statement of I back Bob. First of all, I think that okay, let me say this. I think that what he's saying, I think he believes it. I think he believes it because he is one of the major. I believe he is the largest private investor in Disney, if memory yeah, I've heard that. Serves, serves me correctly. Yeah. Um, sure. So backing by uh, Bob Iger is literally a financial decision because I know for sure if Nelson Peltz get in there, they're 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 re upping and re re redistributing those shares one hundred and ten percent. So I think from a financial standpoint, yes, I can see why George would say that. But at the same time, they've been friends since the like '90s, so you know it, it can go either way. But and, but uh, but simply put, I think Nelson Peltz will get his seat, but I don't think he's getting anything else. Mm-hmm. I can agree to that. But you got to remember also, you talk about backers, and even though he is not a physical uh, fighter in this ring, we got to remember King Troll, Elon Musk. He is on Nelson Peltz's side. He may not have shares to vote on this, but in the ne- over the next 72 hours, I guarantee King Troll is going to just start trolling this whole situation. Just to just to stir it up, just to get eyes on it so people are watching and to make Bob Iger sweat. Cuz Bob Iger is sweating on this. He's definitely sweating. No Mark, question. For, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, Dragonly, do you have any thoughts on this? Um I think George Lucas is probably saying this um, in the way that Stan Lee was saying that that he liked the race and the gender swapping that Marvel were doing to these characters. Um, he's only most likely saying it because he's being told to say it. Well, he didn't it say and, that stuff. He just said uh, some yeah. stuff, super stuff about how 
uh it, it making magic is not for the amateurs and shit like that and and how well, Bob to be fair, he's got a point really he's got a point really i would argue yeah. um just depends on your experience and how good you are at that kind of thing um mm-hmm. that's really about it but i mean really. i mean it, but that the thing bob Iger isn't good at it yeah he, he is he's 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 and he useless hired, and he hires people that once upon a time might have been good at it, but aren't good at it anymore. And in the, leading up to this, in the past week or so, uh, once more, we didn't cover this directly, but it is part of the story. I was saving it till now. Uh, Nelson Peltz goes on the rant. Why are there so many women in the MCU? <laughs> <laughs> that, made, I mean, that made me laugh, that did. <laughs> and it's it's a... It's a long shot. I agree. It's a long shot at this point because I agree with you guys. I, I think there's going to be some shenanigans. I think there are backroom deals we are not aware of. And I don't think Disney will play fair because they don't have to because they own the home, they own home field advantage. And let's be honest for all sports references, home field advantage is a very big thing. Bob Iger has his longevity in the role. He has enough people who are willing to just go, oh, he's been there for so long. Let's just leave it. Let's not change things. But Jed brought up the points. What has Disney been profitable on in the past even two years, three years, four years? You mentioned it. The parks are down. Movies, no profit in sight. Disney Plus, Black Hole, no no profit. on. It's supposed to be profitable next year having reached 250 million subscribers. I believe they're currently in the 150s. I'll have to look that up in a second. Uh, and they're giving them away with Hulu. Yeah. Their Hulu bundles are less than $10 right now. Disney Plus and Hulu for $10. That's insane. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and that's also the other, the other illegitimate part of this. These people are using metrics to hide truths i mean what's a view what what, what's a subscriber because they forced you to have it on your phone because you signed up for verizon or some other thing uh, did that make you a subscriber did you actually use it or did you try everything uh, every possible thing under the sun to get it off your phone like some people we know and they just couldn't so this is a weird little thing and it also must be must be noted that there are Disney's doing some things lately to try and budge the numbers and as you get they're not playing fair suddenly oh look hey anime fans macross is coming to disney plus and hulu because i talked about this last year in a separate thing macross the owners of macross and robotech west and east finally came to a a an amicable, amicable amicable agreement to localize Macross, which is the actual source of material of Robotech. And now it's getting a exclusive drop on Disney Plus and Hulu, which is now what Disney Plus is marketed as Disney mm-hmm. Plus Hulu, or as we saw Hulu Disney Plus. You notice that they put Hulu in front of it. Well, they, they just merged the colors. That's what the new redesign, the dark blue and yeah. the green turned into this ugly, ugly shade. Yeah. But yeah, th- this is Bob Iger's strategy. Oh, one second, Chad. I'm glad you mentioned that because I talked to my father and he asked me if something was wrong with his TV. <laughs> and <laughs> I went over and I said, I don't know what I'm seeing. So they actually merged the colors. That's why Disney Plus is like aqua blue mm-hmm. thing. Oh, yeah, okay. I, I, noticed, I noticed that the other day on my phone. I'm thinking, is it just my imagination that has the logo changed? I'm confused. Just get it over with and make uh, merge the streaming services. We I'm all know you, I was confused. For. Yeah, <laughs> it looks terrible. But it, this has always been Bob Iger's strategy for success: buy your way into success. That's how we got the Marvel yep. Cinematic Universe. That's how we got Star Wars, and now he's doing it with anime. Is whenever yep. there's a problem, buy new stuff to distract. And yep. it's worked for him up to this point, but the return has been so low that they can't keep this up that has a short longevity in the grand scheme of things, buying yep. your way to success. So this, this to me, was a move of desperation. Last-minute move of desperation to announce this 
days before the vote to show, look, Hulu and Disney Plus, here comes fresh content. We're opening up to anime. Isn't anime popular? Oh, it's a classic and people are going to love it. Oh, look, we're, we're working with Bandai Namco, who has a lot of baggage surrounding them right now with their current behavior on some of their AAA properties. Look, we're getting Code Geass, the sequel there. It's going to be featured exclusively on Disney Plus. Aren't you anime fans excited for that? Well, you know, there are ways for me to watch this without going to Disney Plus Newsflash. So, <laughs> uh, but this, this is, these, these are the moves they're making in these twilight hours of the vote. They are trying to gin up some sort of fake excitement by going after an audience that likely hates your guts and is also very happy in the ways that they are already consuming their anime. I mean, I, here's the thing. I guarantee anybody who is a Macross fan, they already own all the physical media of this shit. Macross, at, diehard Macross, Ma Macross fans, I should say it right, Macross, not Macross, Macross. Diehard Macross fans, they own this shit already. They have it. Or if you're like me, I've already got my Robotech. You're not, you're not getting us. This is not going to bring in subscribers. It's only it, it's it's a it's a lame attempt to look strong to make Disney Plus and Hulu look strong when they are not. And I I wonder if investors will see through this. That's my question. Will the investors see through this? The remaining votes that are still out there to scoop up. And in the end, I I got to believe he's going to at least get one seat. I, I don't think he'd be doing this if he didn't think Nelson Peltz, if he didn't think he could at least get himself on the board. Mm -hmm. He's panicking. He? You mean Bob Iger? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Oh, well, <laughs> Iger is panicking. Oh yeah, Definitely. there's no question about that. Yeah, that's what. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's like he's he's doing this because he's panicking. It's like, hey, look at what we have. We have anime yeah. here. And, yeah. Uh... The hardcore Macross fan, they've already got all the shit. You are right in that. They've got the shit. Whether they yeah. bought it from whether they they bought their copies for uh, of a Japanese version, or the new newly released stuff, or Captain Jack made a delivery repeatedly over the years. They've got it. They're not going to Disney Plus. This is not a strong move. Like Dragon Lady said, this shows he's scared. This is a this is a sign of weakness. And it is not. I don't think I I, I think people see through it. I'm inclined to agree because this feels like smoke and mirrors. Mm -hmm. And for a franchise like Robotech, which from from my humble experience. Doesn't have worldwide mass appeal. No, I, I could be wrong, but yeah. Macross but, has its hard original Macross yeah. has its hardcore fans, and then there are the Robotech fans, which is a completely different thing. Then they're the ones who yeah. love it all. And yeah, it, they already have all their shit. No matter where exactly. you got it, you got your shit. So you're not going to bring subscribers to Disney Plus with that. That's why it's a sign of weakness, and it doesn't work. Yeah, and that's uh, what I was suspecting because I could be wrong because I'm not. I, I I I love anime, but I'm not too deep into the communities yeah. but as far yeah. as my understanding is concerned that didn't have worldwide appeal so are they just trying to drag new fans because i don't think that's how that works for that type of franchise Fair. if it was something that had some uh let's just say let's say it was transformers that they were that they were grabbing you know let's say it was transformers and they were getting all the transformers energon and armada beast wars let's just say they're casting a big old wide net that's now being drug over into Disney Plus. Now you might have something to negotiate with mm -hmm. because a lot of those licenses were spread all over the place. Some of them are on Tubi, some of them are on like non streaming at all. Now you're giving me something that I could play with. Some, oh, some have rights to Netflix and whatever. Now you're able to get something that can actually be drug over into the service that has worldwide mass appeal. Mm -hmm. So, so I don't get the strategy the strategy doesn't make sense to me why get something that's extremely niche to try to drum up worldwide subscriptions because it, it's it a classic name it's a classic name in anime and it's 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 a 
it's something that try to make sure like we're catering to real anime fans. We're the place to come for anime now. Uh, I guess maybe they're trying to start to build some sort of base to to go up against Crunchyroll and Netflix. I don't know. That's remember, not going to happen. Crunch, I mean, because remember, Crunchyroll is, is is Sony at this point. It's their Sony. And so. If I were them, I would have gone with something like Sailor Moon, which is very well known. And, yeah, but yeah, no, I'm Sailor Moon is owned by Netflix, though. Uh, Netflix owns Sailor Moon. I mean, you have yeah, to... but you need a franchise like that that is yeah. current. Yeah, that has a yeah what Dragon Lady is saying Moon is Moon. correct. You need a mm-hmm. big franchise that everybody and their grandmama knows. Well, Using like, Robotech is Ball. not it. It, it, yeah, but you're not, you're not wrong. I'm just saying there, it's a it, it's it's basically the move of hey when he said when Bob Iger came out a couple years ago hey I think the kids are the video games these days right it's that kind of move oh hey you kids are into anime now huh here oh, here's an old one that people tell me was great back in the day and has a lot of powerful following it's 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 the boomer coming in with the backwards hat and the skateboard going hey <laughs> hey kids let's be hip it's stupid. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, check out my gaming channel at Renaissance Nerd Arcade, and follow me on X Twitter under at the Red Nerd. Thanks again for watching. Take it easy.